ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى اله واصحابه واتباعه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد all praise is due to Allah who seek his aid and we ask for his forgiveness and we seek refuge with Allah from the evils of ourselves and from the evils of our actions whomsoever Allah guides there is none who can misguide him and whomsoever Allah misguides there is none who can guide him and I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone glory be to him have you no partners and I bear witness that Muhammad is a slave and messenger. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his companions, his progeny, and all those who follow in their footsteps until the day of judgment. I God Allah, O servants of Allah, I advise you myself to be conscious and fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To have taqwa. Allah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Him and stand from what has been entrusted to you and do not mix truth with falsehood and do not conceal the truth while you know and do good and prostrate to your Rabb and bow in worship in obedience with those who bow. Brothers and sisters in Islam, how few are the people who know a sa'ada, happiness, and peace of mind. How few are they? Among these few are little who value it. And if we look closely at some of them, we would realize the truth in them is little, surrounded by a lot of falsehood. Like a star, almost losing its light from the darkness of the night. Many are the calamities that befall us, that fill our horizon with thundering clouds. How often is it that one of us faces things that he does not like when he is deprived from something that he desires? And here comes the role of a sa'ada, happiness, that, that chases despair, or sadness away and acceptance that negates rebelliousness happiness that goes as a human being wherever he moves to and settles when he settles and is buried with him in his grave brothers and sisters in Islam when you look at the dear life of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah ta'ala one who has been imprisoned for doing what? For al amr bil ma'roof wa nahi an al munkar For enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong. The Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah was imprisoned not once, not twice, not thrice, not four times, rather seven times in total in his life. Rahimahullah Ta'ala Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah When he described the meaning of the sa'ada or happiness and the peak of his feelings he said مَا يَفْعَلُ أَعْلَائِي بِي أَنَا جَنَّةِ وَأُسْتَانِي فِي صَدْرِي أَيْنَمَا رَحْتُمْ فَهِيَ مَعِي أَنَا حَبْسِي خُرَّةً ونفيه سياحة وقتله شهادة شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمة نريتم to his best of students ابن الخيم رحمه الله تعالى he said with all happiness in heart ما يفعل أعبائي بي what possibly can my enemies do to me 
What do my enemies possibly do to me? My Jannah, my paradise, and my garden is in my heart. Wherever I go, they go with me. Inseparable from me. For me, prison. Prison is a place of religious retreat. Exile from my town is but a chance to travel. And execution is my opportunity for martyrdom, for shahada. Allah Akbar. The words of the great scholar of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. But fear not the days and the nights that have gone by as he resided in prison, injustly. You see, brothers and sisters in Islam, both happiness and misery, there are things that will remain as long as life continues, yes. Each human being on the surface of earth is aggressively searching for the happiness and hoping to attain it at the expense of, at the expense of all that he owns. Some people who are deluded and deceived find happiness to be something that has no reality to it, nothing but an imagination invented from deception that has no reality. You see, the truth, brothers and sisters in Islam, the truth, O servants of Allah, that such people are ignorant and deceivers because it is impossible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to be miserable. Allah says to His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ta'aha, ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'ana li tashqa. Ta'aha, we have not sent down to you the Qur'an that you will become distressed and miserable. The Qur'an was not there for distress or misery. In addition to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَإِنَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدَىٰ فَمَنِ اتَّبَعَ هُدَىٰيَ فَلَا يَضُلُّ وَلَا يَشْقَىٰ And if they should come to you for guidance from me, then whoever follows my guidance will never go astray, will never go astray in the world, nor suffer in the hereafter. And Sa'ada, happiness, Ibad Allah, O servants of Allah, is a paradise of dreams. Let all mankind seek to attain, educated at the highest level of intelligence, to a simple minded, naive person. And from a ruler in a huge castle or mansion, to a poor person in a small cell living in dust with poverty. We don't think that any of them deliberately looks for misery and, mis and distress for himself, nor accept that to happen to oneself. Brothers and sisters in Islam, a servant without Iman is a weak creation. A servant without faith is indeed a weak creation. And in this weakness, when he is inflicted with harm, he gives up in despair. If he receives good, he becomes miserly. He hesitates to give. In both situations, he is worried and fearful. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ خُلِقَهَا نُوعًا إِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ جَزُوعًا وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الْخَيْرُ مَنُوعًا إِلَّا الْمُصَلِّينَ Indeed mankind was created anxious. Whenever evil touches him, impatience, whenever evil touches him, impatience, and whenever good touches him, with holding of it. Except the observers of the prayers, except the Muslim. When a person loses happiness in the heart, it is replaced with worry and emotional disturbance. Four monsters 
gather against him to destroy and weaken him. Beside the fact that happiness and peace of mind is lost. These four are grief, sadness, worrying, and staying up at night. There is nothing more difficult than the effect of grief in the life of a servant. Since he is a soldier, for the soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he uses it against him, against whoever he wishes for his servants. From those who have weak connections with Allah, weak spiritually by being immersed in disobedience and sinlessness. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَوْلِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا And to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belong the soldiers of the heavens and the earth. And ever is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalted in might and wise. Once Ali ibn Abi Talib was asked, مَا أَقْوَى لَدُّنُ اللَّهُ Which is the mightiest, the strongest of the soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are they the mountains? Mountains could be broken by metal. So metals are stronger. And fire melts metal. So fire is stronger. And water puts out fire. So water is stronger. And clouds carry the water. So clouds are stronger. And the winds send the clouds. So the wind is stronger. And a human being stops the wind or prevents it with his hands or by his clothes. So the human being is stronger. And sleepiness overcomes the human being. So sleepiness is stronger. And grief overcomes sleepiness. So the strongest of the soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is grief. He subhanahu wa ta'ala gives it power of whoever he wishes from his servants. So the fact then is, O oh servants of Allah, that happiness and tranquility and peace of mind is a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rahman, mercy, just like grief and worry, as stress and anger is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a test. Two people can be very similar with physical appearances, but they have great differences between them, as the differences between the heavens and the earth. At the time of hardship, when matters become serious, when the difference the great difference appears between a happy person who could be envied and a person of despair who is, who is afraid. If you see him, ask him to seek refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his situation and position. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions such a thing in his book regarding the battle of Uhud. When he subhanahu wa ta'ala made the believers go to sleep, and the battle is about to start within a few hours. As he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثُمَّ أَنزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ الْغَرْمِ أَمَلَهَ يَغْشَى طَائِفَةً مِنْكُمْ Then, يَغْشَى طَائِفَةٌ مِنْكُمْ Then after distress, he sent down upon you security, أَمَلَهَ In the form, of sleepiness, overcoming a faction of you. The sleepiness in such a situation is a proof of peace and tranquility and security for those who are firm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give victory to his messenger and fulfill his promise and make his hope and wish come true. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding the other group in the same verse in the same ayah, while another faction is worried about themselves, thinking of Allah other than the truth. The thought of ignorance, saying, is there anything for us to have done in this matter? Meaning from worry, fear, and despair. This was their situation. 
This is the situation of the people of Dao. They live between buts and ifs. And I wish in sorrow and regret. Aidat Allah, O servants of Allah, as Sa'ada, happiness is a phrase that a lot of people are mistaken in defining and explaining it. Nor do they agree on the definition. So that they start from their imagination, thinking of what it could be but without success. So they became as a person seeking to find pearls in the desert, exhausted in body, sad, losing hope. The rich amongst them, the rich amongst these kinds of people, think that happiness is his health and his wealth in real estate. And the poor of them thinks that it is in gaining more money, more garments, more clothing, and more wealth. And the politicians of them think that it is achieving his goals and the smartness of making injustice appear like justice, those politicians. And the one in love thinks that happiness is the reunion with his beloved one. And infatuation for such and such person it is something different and so on. The one in love. The just person and the inspired one, on the other hand, O servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look in with insight. Most certainly the silliness and the absurdity of these guesses. And the big gap and the whole of illusion that they're in because the wealthy will realize that this mansion of his with his elusive happiness it's being shared by his servants, his maids and followers and perhaps even the watchdogs, they reside in the same mansion. So he realizes that the happiness is not in that mansion, in a beautiful house of his. And the poor on the other hand, the exhausted looks at the people of the wealth with this artificial happiness as, as though it is a reflection of light over a cloud that soon will depart and disappear and that says to himself this cotton that they wear was in a forest on trees and the silk that they show off with was in the summit of worms and as for the jewelry that the rich people wear it was inside a rock that was carried by a donkey or a mule and then realize that the true happiness resembles in a person. The true happiness resembles in a person like Omar ibn al-Sattah When he was wearing a garment with pouches in it, with holes, the great Amir al-Mu'mineen ibn al-Sattah, and was eating oil, was eating oil, and was living in a hut-like cottage rather than in a palace and with, with all of that the Qisra was shaken on his throne out of fear from him the leader of Persia was fearing in his throne as well as the kings of Rome they feared this great Umar ibn Khattab the one who entered Jerusalem Next to his servant was riding on the mule instead of him. So the reality of a sa'ada, of happiness, may Allah preserve you, brothers and sisters in Islam, is not in excessive wealth, is not in the billions of pesos that you accumulate, nor is it in power and position. Nor is it in large numbers of children, nor is it in politics. As Sa'ada, happiness is not something that is measured by quantity, nor could it be bought by currency, no dollar, no peso, no nothing. And no human possesses it or to sell it, to sell it. Nor can they take it away from the one who attained it or was granted it. 
السعادة brothers and sisters in Islam Happiness is Iman, faith followed by actions, by Adam It is Iman followed by action, sacrifice and forcing oneself to things to things that he does not really like and to persevere, to have patience, to have sabr and put up with the hardships and difficulties and the training and training the self to face adversities and calamities and hardships with sabr, with patience. That is sa'ada, that is the true happiness of brothers and sisters in Islam. And the sa'id and the happy person is the one who favors the last thing, eternal, over the vanishing and perishing dunya. He favors the akhirah over one which will disappear in this dunya. For we live here as ulama, strangers to this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ سَيَجْعَلُوا لَهُمُ الرَّحْمَانُ وُدَّا إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ سَيَجْعَلُوا لَهُمُ الرَّحْمَانُ وُدَّا Indeed, those who have believed, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا and those who have done righteous deeds, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ The most merciful, الرَّحْمَانُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, الرَّحْمَانُ will appoint for them affection. Affection and love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in another ayah, brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ذَلِكَ وَمَنْ يَعَطْلَمْ شَعَادِ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّهَا مِنْ تَقْوَى الْعُلُوبَ That is so. And whoever honors the symbol, the shahad of Allah, the symbols of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed it is from the taqwa of the qulub, from the fear of the hearts of the believers. As-sa'ada, happiness, O Muslims, is accepting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al qubur and satisfaction with his qadr with a decree from the khayr and the shah from the good and the bad of qadr and trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeking support and aid only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whoever tastes iman whoever tastes faith tastes as-sa'ada Taste happens that the Prophet said in the hadith, the Sahih Imam Muslim, that the Prophet said. You will find a taste of happiness, of sa'ada. You will find a taste of happiness or iman. He who accepts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as his Rabb. He who has Islam. He who accepts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as his Rabb, the cherisher and sustainer. Islam as his faith, as his religion. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as his messenger. As his messenger, alayhi wa salatu wa salam. That is why, brothers and sisters in Islam, whoever loses or makes the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the sarida, which is acceptance, becomes greedy, becomes greedy and stingy, and will never be satisfied, will never be indeed happy. And he collects, keeps on collecting. Money after money, but he does not pay, he does not give. And he will eat, as the cattle eats, all the unlimited food that he can eat. And he will drink like the thirsty camels, but he will not feed. And the truth is, brothers and sisters in Islam, is what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the book of Imam Tirmidhi, when he said, من سعادة ابن آدم رضاه بما قضى الله له ومن شقاوة ابن آدم تركه استخارة الله ومن شقاوة ابن آدم سخطه بما قضى الله له From the happiness 
of the Son of Adam, for the happiness of the human being, is that he accepts whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed. And the misery of the Son of Adam, of the human being, is that he rejects and he rebels against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed from Talab. Barakallahu wa liya wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa laka'ani wa iyaakum bila fihim min al-Ayat wa dhikri al-Hakim Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullahi wa lakum fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-Qur'an al-Rahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن والاه أما بعد Brothers and sisters in Islam الفاروق عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه روح تبقى موسى أبو موسى الأشعري رضي الله عنه Saying All good lies in acceptance and satisfaction So if you can then accept and be satisfied with the qadr or otherwise persevere, be patient. Then servants of Allah, O Ibad Allah, do not fear grief and worry and sadness as long as your matter is according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in our famous hadith Qudsi, in hadith Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أنا عند ظني عبدي بي أنا عند ظني عبدي بي وأنا معه حين يذكرني إن ذكرني في نفسه ذكرته في نفسي وإن ذكرني في ملأ ذكرته في ملأ هم خير منهم وإن تقرب مني شبرا وإن تقرب مني شبرا تقربت إليه ذراعا وإن تقرب إليه ذراعا تقربت منه باعا الله أكبر وإن أتاني يمشي أتيته حولا الله أكبر Listen to your brothers and sisters in Islam to this beautiful hadith Qudsi Allah سبحانه وتعالى says in this hadith أنا عند 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 ظن عبدي بي I سبحانه وتعالى I'm just as my slave thinks of me when he remembers me. By Allah, Allah is more pleased with the repentance of his slave. Allah is more pleased with the repentance of his slave than one of you who unexpectedly finds in the desert his lost camel. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He comes closer to me. One span, one hand span, one shiver. I come to him a cubit, an arm's length. I come to him an arm's length more. He, the servant, comes to me, subhanahu wa ta'ala, a cubit, an arm's length. I come to him a fan. From one arm to the other arm. Allahu Akbar. And if he comes walking to me, subhanahu wa ta'ala, I come to him running. I take to him harwala. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Rabbul Alameen With such a hadith, brothers and sisters in Islam And I was like it Happiness Fear on the faces of the happy ones Happiness that was expressed by those Who felt this joy from the leaders of Islam Who said We feel happiness that if kings know its extent And the children of kings They will lash us and fire us over it with swords, the Amir al Uminim. Happiness is described by those who live, th live through it by saying, At times I think to myself, saying, If the people of paradise go through or live like I am right now, then indeed they live in a kind life and a happy life. Such are those who smile for life without frown from their faces and receive pain with satisfaction and submission and change it into a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which deserves to be thanked and deserve gratitude while for others it is disaster 
which deserves weeping and crying. So happiness was a tree that grows in this human soul. The iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his angels, his messengers, and the hereafter and the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the good or the bad of it, it would become its water, its food, its air, and its life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ أَنَّهُمْ وَتَطْمَئِنَّ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَتَطْمَئِنَّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنَّ الْقُلُوبِ أَلَا الَّذِينَ آمُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ يُطُوبَى لَهُمْ وَحُسْنُ مَنَاذًا Those who have believed and whose hearts are assured by the remembrance of Allah unquestionably by the remembrance of Allah their hearts are assured those who have believed and the righteous good deeds, a good state is theirs. A good state is theirs, a promise from Allah, and a good return. Ibad Allah, in the Khair al Hadith, Kitab Allah, or Khair al Hadith, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or Shabbat al Mu'ayyu Tatatuha, or Kula Muhammad al Bidah, or Kula Bidah al Dolala, or Kula Dolala al Bidah, Hala wa Sadu Ala min Allah Rukhun al Rukhun bi Salat alayhi wa Salat alayhi إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا محمد ورضى الله عن الأربعة الخلفاء أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن بقية الصحابة أجمعين والتابعين وتابعين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم اجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء وصاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها اللهم انصر عبادك المجاهدين في كل مكان ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم واجعلنا من الذين تجري من تحتهم الأنهار في جنات النعيم دعواهم فيها سبحانك اللهم وتقيتهم فيها سلام وأنصر دعواكم الحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله